thinking. Should we wear suits? Oh, definitely. We'll have to see if Glenn's okay with it, though. He's a picky one. You know, Glenn, today's a big day for you. You're a very lucky boy. Excuse me? Today is your initiation. I'm not drinking anything you two have concocted, if that's what you're thinking. I have to throw this away. Don't think you're getting off easy, though, Glenn. This is still very rigorous training. First, I will be taking you to the world's most popular area for aviation, the local atrium. Atrium as in birds? Look at these birds, with their wings and their aerodynamics, and their eyes. Well, just, just look at them. Mm -hmm. So, why are we here? We have to examine these birds, Glenn. Learn from them. Birds are pretty far from space. We have to be better than these burns. So I was supposed to contact you about some government funding. I'm on your team. We're on the same side here. It's okay, I'm, I'm here on official business. So should we go inside? We could do business inside. Or it is, it's a nice day. So if you want to do the business outside, that would make sense to me. Or. Is this, is this, is this your house? Do you live here? Do you know who's, do you even know whose house this is? You don't have any government funding, do you? How do you feel about spending money? The highest flying bird flies at 10 kilometers. Do you know how low that is? 13% of the atmosphere. Pathetic. This is Charlie. Ignore Charlie. He can't do anything. Oh, here's a good one. Uh, this bird actually sings. It sings through the atmosphere and no. Uh... You know, actually, most of these birds are pretty terrible. Fuck these birds. Let's go bond. <clears throat> this is ridiculous.
Hi, finally. Uh, how'd bonding go? Fine. Uh, Glenn and I are probably pretty good friends now. Probably. I learned a lot. It's good? It's good. I think we're ready to build the rocket ship.